Hi guys, MC Aaron Leach here with a new guide. This guide will go about gear setups for the chambers of Zarek. I will try and keep this guide quite simple so this does mean not every single item that you can bring into the chambers of Zarek will be featured. This guide is aimed at learners and what they should bring for their first couple KC at the chambers of Zarek. Let's get this started! So before we go into the actual setups, I should specify this. There's two big setups. There's the void setup and the non-void setup. The non-void setup is superior to the void setup. However, void setup does have the advantage of requiring less switches, which means you can take more supplies and it will be a lot easier to deal with the mechanics. However, I do recommend to switching to the non-void setup as soon as you get a couple KC. Okay, so let's start with the void setup. The void setup is quite simple. You bring either Elite Void if you have this, or a regular Void. You bring the Void Gloves, and you bring all three helmets. The non-Void setup is a bit more complicated which items you should bring. However, I made some on-screen graphics that will definitely help you figure out which items you can bring and make it quite easy. So, for Range and Mage, you want to bring both a top and a body. So meaning top and body armadillo, or ancestral, arum, ceradomin. However, for melee, you only need to bring either a BCP or a fighter torso. There is no need to bring legs as they provide no real benefit. For the helmets, you want to bring a face guard if you have this. If you don't, bring a serpentine helm. If you don't have this, bring a nature's knot. Serpentine helm does have the added bonus of not being able to get poison, so some people do prefer bringing a serpentine over a face guard. But when it comes down to which one is better, the face guard is slightly better than the serpentine. For the gloves, it's very simple. You want to bring your Barrow's gloves. And if you have Tormented bracelets, bring these. There's no point in taking Ferocious gloves as this is just a non-necessary switch that does not add too much to your setup. So now let's move on to items you need for both the non-void and the void setup. Starting with the weapons. For range, the T-bow is best. After this, you want to bring a Dragon Hunter crossbow with a buckler and the Ruby Dragon Bolts E. If you don't have this, bring a Dragon Crossbow with Ruby Dragon Bolts E and a Blowpipe with Adamant Darts. Rune Darts are only a very small margin extra in DPS, so I don't find it worth to bring them. For melee, the best one is Scythe. However, a close second is the Dragon Hunter Lance. And you do want to bring a Defender. If you have an Avernic Defender, bring this one. However, a Dragon Defender also definitely works. And if you don't have the Lance, bring a Dra Kraken Tentacle. And then moving on to magic, the Sanguinesti is the best one. And the second item that you should consider if you can't afford a Sanguinesti is a Trident of the Swamp. This is definitely worth getting over a Trident of the Seas. Moving on, we have the boots. You have three good options here. You have the Primordial boots, the Brimstone boots, and then the Dragon boots. There's no need to bring different boots, which is just bring one of these pair and the best one you can bring. For your ring, it's very simple. Just bring a Berserker ring imbued, and that's all you need. For your necklaces, you have a few options. You can bring the Occult, Anguish, and Torture, which is the best setup. However, if you can't afford the Zenites, I would bring an Occult with a Fury. Definitely bring the Occult, as it's a very big upgrade to the DPS. If you can only afford one of the two Zenite necklaces, I would recommend bringing the Anguish, as it's a bit better than the Torture to bring. But do still bring a Fury for your melee setup then. Moving on, we have the capes. For the capes, it's the same as everywhere else. For range, the best is the Ava's Assembler. For melee, the Inferno Cape. For magic, the Imbued God Cape. If you don't have an Assembler, bring an accum Accumulator. If you don't have the Inferno Cape, bring a Fire Cape. Do still bring the Imbued God Cape. It is not too difficult to get, and it's definitely an upgrade worth getting before you do the Chambers of Zarek. For the Chambers, you also want to bring a Defense Lowering Spec Weapon. With the Dragon Warhammer being the best one, and then the BGS. Finally, we also have some room specific items that you might have to bring in certain raids, but not in all of them. This will depend on the layout you have for your raid. The layout will be explained in another video, however, the items you'll need will cover in this video. If you get Guardians, you need to bring a pickaxe. The Dragon Pickaxe is the best one, and then the Rune Pickaxe. There is no need to bring a Crystal Pickaxe as it has no added benefit in Chambers. If you got Vaza, you need to bring a stab weapon. The rapier being the best, 
However, most people just bring the Dragon Hunter Lance as they use this as their main weapon in Cox anyways. And it's also a really good item. And if you can't afford this, a Zamorak in Hasta is a very good alternative. And then finally, if you get Mystics, you need to bring a Self EI. This is a very big damaging boost to this room and it's an absolute requirement to have to do the chambers. Now that we've covered all the gear you need to do the chambers, we'll move on to our inventory. You need one Super Combat, Passing Potion and Stamina Potion. If you have Shamans and you're not using the Serpentine Helm, you also need to bring one Antidote. A Sandfuse Serum can also be an alternative, however this is a lot more expensive than the Antidote is. Then you also want to bring four Restores when you're learning, three is enough when you're more experienced. You want to bring a Rune Pouch with Mind Runes, Wood Runes and Air Runes. And you want to be on the normal Spellbook. So another few runes and spells you can take, however these won't be covered in this video. And then finally you want to fill up the rest of your inventory with brews. To finish off this video I'll put an on-screen example of the gear and items I bring to the chambers on my Iron Man. I hope this guide helps you out and see you again in the next one. Thank you.